In this video, we'll discuss how to use AP Web uh, DLP uh, module to potentially block postings to certain uh, websites, uh, particularly WordPress ones that use the Discuss uh, module. Um, first and foremost, Discuss.com is, is tracked as an information technology URL category and isn't uh, natively controlled by a, a social media control in AP Web. So, you can use a DLP policy to accomplish this. So first what I'll do is, is go to a client that is being filtered um, by an AP Web WebSense Content Gateway uh, with Web DLP on. Uh, we'll go to this site, www.d.com, uh, which is one that was in a host of lists. And uh, I will open up an article and find the comment section. And one thing you'll need to look at if you're looking to particularly block commenting on a certain site is note that the commenting doesn't necessarily take place inside of the website itself. Uh, we live in a dynamic world where ad content and stuff is being fed differently. Uh, in this particular case, uh, discus.com is using or discuss.com is being used down here. I'm already logged in. Uh, I have my policy disabled, so what I'll go ahead and do is uh, put a post here and it will go through. And you can see a few seconds ago, Brian V wrote you know, a great article. Um, and can refresh the, the website uh, and then we can still see that. What I went ahead and did is created a DLP policy specific for um, this functionality. So I wanted to show again, you know, test. Da -da -da. When you look down here, when you click over here, when you look down here at the status bar, you can see the actual uh, embedded comments feature is coming from discuss.com, which is a very, very, very common um, commenting uh, system and platform because it hooks into Facebook, uh, Google, all the other uh, accounts in there. So anyways, you can see my post survived a refresh and we can see that I don't have um, any particular discuss.com um, things going uh, going on uh, here. I've got some other, other things, uh, but uh, what I'll do here is look at the, uh, the policy I created, which which is disabled right now, um, and I can show you how this is done. But uh, what I'll do is show you the policy, then enable it, deploy it. We'll go to another. Uh, well, we'll just use, use the same one. What I did is I created a content classifier to catch all posts. This is a key phrase with the asterisk uh, in it, so basically a wild card for any post. I'm going to go ahead and do medium, and I created a custom action plan called block web. Uh, posts which just blocks HTTP, HTTPS web um, on the network channel. The reason why you have to be careful and create a custom action plan here is blocking a, a asterisk could take out potentially a lot of uh, common use case here. I will include the forensics uh, information uh, there. Um, so very, very simple policy. Let me go to destination. I selected web. Uh, I selected my two network channels. And here I went ahead and added the websites. Now in this particular case, www.com is not, not actually what's doing the posting. That's from discuss.com. You can go in and create your own in here, like testsite.com, and you'll see it'll come into this list here, and then you just move it over into the include list. Already done that with discuss.com. Um, and that's already, this is already a, uh, a policy that's going. So what I'll do is enable the policy um, because customer, the customer test policy that has the rule inside of it is actually disabled right now. Uh, what I'll do is just enable it and I will deploy uh, the settings. Give me a second here, um, which will take about 30 seconds or so. And uh, we'll come back when that's done. Okay, we're back. I have a couple modules off, so that doesn't matter. Uh, but AP Web Server, WCG is here, so um, I'll go ahead and uh, come in and uh, I'll delete these existing ones. So we're, we're starting fresh, and what I'll do is uh, refresh this page, and we'll try and do a second, uh, second post now. If I go down to the bottom here, you can see we're having troubles posting your comment. Check your internet connection. That's because the DLP policy prevented that. You can see discuss.com here, read only website rule. 
Um, and you know, George Washington went here and tried to post something to it. Um, these are some of the strings that, that came in um, in that post data form. You can actually see in the forensic information what was sent as that post. Still a great article. Obviously, this is the rest of the API information that, that gets sent. Um, but uh, that's one way that you can block it. Uh, of course, that's just for Discuss.com, but you can go and, and find uh, other sites that use Discuss.com or find the other um, elements that are being used and, and use a DLP uh, policy to uh, try and stop that. And you can see it just won't go through. Uh, I'll refresh it again, and we will just see the original great article post, not the two that I just tried to uh, send down. So you just can see it's only one actual post that's went down.